Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost. You can call me Alan. It is Monday, the 28th of October, 2024. It's a Blu-ray release day here in the United Kingdom. There's quite a healthy amount of titles coming out today. I am planning to pick up two films myself, which I will show you next week once I've seen them. Today, I'm going to be showing you four titles, one of which was sent to me by Mr. Jamie Powell. Follow the link in the description below to his channel once you've watched this video, of course, first. Alongside that, I have a movie that came out last Monday. I have another movie that came out mid-September, and there's also a TV miniseries that came out last Monday as well. I've managed to watch them all, despite being a very busy week for me. Plus, I will be showing you a couple of movie books that I picked up as well, and a couple of Funko Pops, which were a gift for my youngest daughter. If you're watching, thank you very much, sweetheart. I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to head over to Costa and indulge in a nice latte, not a sponsor, and then I'll mosey over to HMV and film all the latest releases today. So I'll see you all in Costa. So last week I gave you some facts about the HMV logo, so let's shine some light on Costa. So Costa was founded in the UK back in 1971 by Sergio Costa with financial support from his father. Sergio passed away aged 72. He and his brother Bruno opened their first coffee shop in London and eventually sold the business to Whitbread in 1995 who in turn sold it to the Coca-Cola company in 2019. There are a total of 2,467 Costas located in the UK alone and 3,884 worldwide, making them the second largest coffee house in the world. In no particular order, I'm going to start with Arcane League of Legends Season 1. This is set in the world of Arcane, where two sisters steal an artifact of untold power. This features the voice talents of Hayley Steinfeld, Ella Pennell, Harry Lloyd and Katie Leung, who I will mention later in the conclusion. The standard Blu-ray is priced at £34.99. The Blu-ray Steelbook, which is a limited edition, is priced at £39.99. And the 4K limited edition Steelbook is priced at £49.99. And they carry a 15 certificate. Next is Convoy from 1978. It's about a trucker known as the Rubber Duck who is in the lead truck of a mild long convoy who is just trying to evade a vindictive sheriff. Stars Chris Christopherson, Annie McGraw, Ernest Borgnine and Burt Young. £14.99 for this one. Azrael, Angel of Death next. This is a horror film from this year starring Samantha Weaving and it's set in a world where no one speaks and that's got to be an easy job for an actor with no lines. Just 85 minutes in length and this one is priced at £14.99. Bloodbath at the House of Death next. A comedy horror from 1984 starring Kenny Everett, Pamela Stevenson, Gareth Hunt, Don Warrington and of course Cleo Rocco. Remember her? £17.99 for this one which is £2 cheaper than Amazon. Freud's Last Session next, an historic drama set on the eve of World War II. This stars Anthony Hopkins as the title character and Matthew Good as C.S. Lewis. £14.99 for this film. Next is Red Sun from Studio Canal on 4K. This was released on Blu-ray from Studio Canal on the 9th of September. And this is a Western thriller from 1971 directed by Terence Young, starring Charles Bronson, Toshiro Mifune and Ursula Andress. This is priced at £22.99 and it carries a 15 certificate. Next is A Quiet Place in the Country, a French-Italian psychological thriller from 1968 starring Franco Nero as an artist and Vanessa Redgrave as his lover. It's about a female ghost who resides in an old villa who is determined to kill Vanessa's character, Flavia. This one is priced at £17.99. Next we have Dogra Magra. This is a limited edition release on Radiance Films. It's a Japanese murder mystery about a man who kills his wife on their wedding day but has no memory of the event. This is the final film from the director Toshio Matsumoto. This is priced at £17.99. Killer Clowns from Outer Space next. A science fiction comedy horror from 1988. The title really says it all. With a budget of $1.8 million, this made a whopping $745 at the box office, but it's since gained cult status, which is priceless. Well, you can buy it for £12.99. El Vampiro, two blood-sucking tales from Mexico next, which are limited to 8,000 copies. This mystery horror two-film set has The Vampire from 1957, which has a runtime of 95 minutes, and The Vampire's Coffin from 1958, which has a runtime of 80 minutes. Looks like they're presented in digibooks. Inside, there's also an 80-page book, and this is priced at £24.99. Doiye Gothic Japanese Ghost Story is next on Radiance Films. This three-film set contains The Ghost of Yotsuya, The Snow Woman, and Bride of Hades. These are limited to 4,000 copies and are priced at £44.99, and it also includes an 80-page perfect bound book. Late Night with the Devil next. This is a found footage horror mystery from last year, centering around a late night chat show which fictitiously aired on Halloween night 1977, where the host invited a possessed girl along. What could possibly go wrong there? This is available on Blu-ray for £16.99, 
or 4K for £24.99, or there is a 4K limited edition which comes in a rigid case and includes a book and art cards of the characters, and that is priced at £39.99. Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas Next. I believe this is the 1966 television special as it has an audio commentary by June Ferre, who voiced Cindy Lou Who. If it is, then Boris Karloff voices the Grinch himself. £19.99 for this one today. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, I said it. Here we have Orca, The Killer Whale on 4K. The Blu-ray came out September 2nd. This is a thriller from 1977 starring Richard Harris as Captain Nolan. A man who pits his wits against a killer whale who is hell-bent on getting revenge for killing its mate and calf. This one is priced at £22.99. The Adams Family Values next on 4K from Paramount Pictures. This is a supernatural comedy from 1993. And here we have the Adams Family who come to the rescue of Uncle Fester, who is played by Christopher Lloyd, from his serial killing girlfriend Debbie, who is played by Joan Cusack. £22.99 for this one. Next is Blink Twice. This is a psychological thriller from this year, directed by Zoe Kravitz, and this is an exclusive release at HMV. Got a pretty good cast. You've got Channing Tatum, Christian Slater, Eddie Joel Osment, Gina Davis, and Kyle MacLachlan. Just £12.99 for this release today. Aliens Next on Blu-ray. This is a sci-fi horror from 1986, and it includes both a theatrical version of the movie, plus the 1990 special edition, which includes an extra 17 minutes of additional footage. This comes with a slipcover and is priced at £10.99. Next we have Despicable Me 4. This is an animated sequel. It sees the voice talents of Steve Carell as Gru, Kristen Wiig as Lucy Wilde, as well as Will Farrell, Joey King and Steve Coogan. This one is priced at £14.99 and it includes two mini-movies. A Star is Born next. This is a drama from 1937 and this is the original of the Star is Born films. However, very much taken from the film What Price Hollywood, which was made five years prior to this. Stars Janet Gaynor and Frederick Marsh, and the music is provided by Max Steiner. This was the first colour film to be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. £14.99 for this release. Next is For Me and My Gal. This is a Busby Berkeley musical from 1942, which stars Judy Garland as Joe and Gene Kelly as Harry. Now, Harry self inflicts a wound so he can dodge being drafted so he can stay with Joe, but Joe sees him as a coward and leaves. But can he win her back? Well, this is Hollywood, the land of dreams. £14.99 for this movie. Facets of Love next from 88 Films. This Hong Kong erotic romantic drama is from 1973. It stars Jackie Chan and it's centred around the goings on at a very lucrative Ming Dynasty brothel. £16.99 for this one. I Vampire Next, aka Lust of the Vampire, released by Radiance Films. This is an Italian horror from 1957. It's about a scientist who is draining the blood of young women in order to keep his love alive. This is a limited edition to which there are 3,000 copies, and this is priced at £17.99. Next is a Columbia Horror Box Set from Indicator. This contains six movies, and they are Behind the Mask from 1932, Black Moon from 1934, Air Hawks from 1935, Island of Doom Men from 1940, Cried the Werewolf from 1944, and Soul of a Monster from 1944. This is limited to 6,000 copies and is priced at £49.99. In Restless Dreams, the music of Paul Simon next from Altitude Films Distribution. It's a two-part documentary on Paul Simon and the making of his album Seven Palms, plus a look back at his six-decade career. £19.99 for this release today. Pearl Harbor next. This is a re-release. It's a romantic war drama from Michael Bay and produced by Jerry Bruckheimer. This has a great cast. Ben Affleck, Josh Hartnett, Cuba Gooden Jr., Kate Beckinsale, Alec Baldwin and Tom Sizemore with music from Hans Zimmer. Just £7.99 for this release today. Trap Next. This is a psychological thriller that's written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. And this is about a serial killer known as The Butcher. It stars Josh Hartnett, Ariel Donoghue, Salika Knight Shyamalan and Hayley Mills. £14.99 for this movie today. Trigun Stampede The Complete Collection Next. This is an animated show which follows a reporter and her jaded partner as they try to track down an elusive character called Vash the Stampede. This contains all 12 episodes and is priced at £32.99. It carries a 15 certificate. True Lies next, a very long-awaited Blu-ray release for the UK. The 4K came out in the beginning of April. It's an action comedy starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Arnold, Bill Paxton, Art Malik and Charlton Heston. This comes with a nice slipcover and in a thin case. This is priced at £10.99, which is very reasonable.
everybody, welcome back. So there's quite a bit to show you today. I've got two Funko Pops that were given to me by my daughter. I've got two movie books and I've got four titles as well to show you. One's a mini series and three are films. So let's crank straight on with it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Funko Pops. I've never bought a Funko Pop in my life. However, I've been given a few over the years. And here's two from my daughter. They are Christmas related. I'm gonna open them up. They are from a Christmas Carol. They are very nice. I'm going to have these, I think, as Christmas ornaments. So I don't think I'm going to put them on display all year round. I do have the Muppets Christmas Carol ones, but these I think I'm just going to put out at Christmas. Let's put the box down. This is Jacob Marley. If I can get him out. There we go. He's on like a cobbled stone. I, I think that's really nice. He's kind of hovering there. I don't know if you can, if you can see that. It's like a little plastic thing on the back there, keeping him elevated. That's nice, got the old money boxes. Fantastic, my favorite story is a Christmas cow. This is why my daughter picked these up for me. There are others available. I'll show you the other one I've got and I'll show you the ones that are still available. They're quite cheap, they're like £11.99 each, I believe. But I like that, I like the fact they've come with a different base, because usually they're on, a, they're on a black plinth, but these like old London streets, if you know the story. So that is Marley's ghost. And the other Funko Pop is of Ebenezer Scrooge in his nightgown on the stone cobbleway. Probably looking for ghosts. He's got his little candle there. Very nice indeed. Lots of detail. I like that one. Not sure if you can see the image there. I'll put it up in the corner anyway. We have Ebenezer Scrooge, Jacob Marley, Tiny Tim, Ghost of Christmas Past, Ghost of Christmas Present, and Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come. Okay, so onto the books, and we have Study in Ealing Studios by Stephen Muir. This one was just three pounds 99, 145 pages, lots of text, a couple of pictures in there as well, but mainly text, telling you all about the history of the studio. Good price, I thought, why not? It's always good to have books in the collection, reference books, things like that, so that's that one. Okay, the other book I picked up is The Essential Monster Movie Guide. It's by Stephen Jones, 450 pages. A lot of monsters in here. It is 25 years old, so it's not gonna have your recent monsters, but it has all the classics in there. Frankenstein, Dracula, Mummy, Wolfman. And it's not just movies as well, it covers TV. So it's a good reference book to look up. Six pounds cost me from London Road Market in Brighton. Retailed at £17, but obviously 25 years old, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So it's good to have reference books in your collection. Okay, first one to show you was sent to me by my very good friend, Mr. Jamie Powell. There's going to be a link in the description below to his channel. Be sure to go and check him out. And the movie that Jamie has kindly sent over is The Straight Story. This is a biographical drama from 1999, directed by David Lynch. And it tells the incredible story about a journey that Alvin Straight made to see his brother Lyle, who has just suffered from a nasty stroke. Alvin's played by Richard Farnsworth, who was 79 years old at the time of filming, suffering from terminal cancer, which apparently left him in terrible pain. It spread into his bones, which led to partial paralysis, which is visible in the film. His on-screen brother, Lyle, played by Harry Dean Stanton. What a brilliant actor he is. Aliens, Escape from New York, Paris, Texas, Last Temptation of Christ, The Green Mile, and many more. So two very powerful actors right there, although Harry's character is more of a cameo role for Harry. But it's a journey that makes this film incredible. You've got Alvin, whose driver's license has been removed because of his bad legs and eyesight, undertakes a journey on his seated lawnmower, which has a top speed of just five miles an hour. And it's 240 miles away that he's headed. So it's about their journey and the people that he encounters. Alvin meets a pregnant hitchhiker, a hysterical woman who accidentally keeps knocking down Kim Deers on her way to work. And at one point in the film, Alvin's transmission fails on his lawnmower on a steep decline and he sends him hurtling down a hill at speed with no brakes. Remember, this is a true story. Luckily, there was an onlooking family that came to his rescue. Now, I won't say any more, but I will also mention it stars Sissy Spacek as Alvin's daughter. And she's got a very sad backstory, which I'm, I won't go into at the moment, but it is explained in the film. What an amazing movie this was. No explosions, no shootings or car chases, just a character study on top of an incredible story. It's got a runtime of one hour, 52 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So this is a German import, but it does have a reversible cover with that age logo removed. It was a double eco case, but I can sort that out. And that front cover image has been put onto the disc. So that was the straight story. And thank you very much, Jamie Powell. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. You mate, are a star.
Next title is The Getaway. It's an action thriller from 1994, directed by Roger Donson, and this is a remake of the 1972 Steve McQueen original. This stars Alec Baldwin as Doc McCoy. He is a career criminal who is hired to break a cartel boss's nephew out of a prison truck, only to find out he's been set up himself and arrested a little bit later at the airport and then subsequently sent on to a Mexican jail. A year later, Doc's wife Carol, played by the beautiful Kim Basinger, makes a deal with another crime lord to get Doc out of jail. But this comes at a price, namely her body, because it's revealed later in the film that she had to sleep with the mob boss Jack Benyon to seal the deal. Jack's played by James Woods. Another part of that deal is that Doc's got to partake in a heist at the dog races. And that's just a small part of the story. There is plenty more going on, but I'm not going to say any more. But I will mention it also stars Michael Madsen as Rudy. He left Doc at the airport to face the police, but he's also part of the heist as well. There's also Philip Seymour Hoffman as Frank. He's also part of the heist team. He's a little bit inexperienced, but I won't elaborate on that. There's also David Morse. He's one of Jack's top henchmen. Jennifer Tilly. She's playing a deplorable character as always. And you've got Richard Farnsworth as well from the straight story that I just showed you. Now, this was a first time watch for me. Thoroughly entertaining. Lots of twists, lots of turns. Picture quality on this was as good as it gets. Unfortunately, the Bluey has no special features whatsoever. But it does have a runtime of 1 hour 55 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So there is an image on the disc. It's taken from the front cover. But for some reason, they've cropped out James Woods. So that was The Getaway. Although, for some reason, James Woods is very small in that image. Okay, next is Night Sleeper, a TV miniseries which aired on the BBC September this year. It's a real-time drama directed by both Jamie Magna Stone, who directed the first three episodes, and John Hayes, who directed the final three episodes. Now, this show follows an overnight sleeper train as it travels from Glasgow to London, a journey of what, 410 miles, which all going well should take 310 minutes. Simple enough. Obviously, something has to happen, and for this particular drama, we see that a locomotive has been taken over by a hacker, for reasons I won't divulge. Hacker is planned to crash the entire train at its final destination, so it becomes a race against time to stop the train and find the person or persons responsible. Character-wise, we have Abby being played by Alexander Roach, who you may know from the historical TV drama Sandition, where she played the character Diana Parker. She was also in The Iron Lady as well, where she played a young Margaret Thatcher. So Abby is running things from the incident room, which is at the National Cyber Security Center, when she finally does get there, that is. And on board the train, there's a former detective inspector called Joseph, who is being investigated at work for theft. Joseph is being played by Joe Cole, who you may know from the TV series Ip Chris Files, where he plays the character of Harry Palmer. He was also Sean Wallace in Gangs of London as well. Now, as you would expect, a show like this, there are a fair few characters on board. Each has a story to tell, which I'm not going to go into at all. But I will mention there's a, a reporter on board called Rachel, being played by Katie Leung, who was Cho in the Harry Potter franchise. She was Harry Potter's first kiss. Plus there's Alex Ferns as well, who was Trevor Morgan in EastEnders. So is this any good? Yeah, you know what? It was pretty good. Fast paced, bit by the numbers at times. Enjoyable stuff. It's got a runtime of 348 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So this is a two disc set. Both have an image taken from the front cover. We have Joe on disc one and Abby on disc two. So that was Night Sleeper. Okay, next and last is Long Legs. This is a horror thriller from this year that was written and directed by Osgood Perkins. Now, someone needs to go to his house and knock on his door, check on him, see if he's all right, because this is a little bit out there. Just saying. Now, this stars Micah Monroe as Lee Harker. Now, keep an eye out for Micah. That is how you say her name. I've got a feeling that her career is going to take off very quickly. Now, Lee Harker is a newly qualified FBI agent who is assigned a partner for the day. They go out canvassing the neighborhood looking for a suspect, and she gets a very strong feeling that a killer is in a particular house, tells her partner, who dismisses it. And 30 seconds later, whilst knocking on that house door, her partner receives a bullet to his forehead for his troubles. Now, hearing that she has these precognitive abilities, her boss, Agent Carter, played by Blair Underwood, takes her under his wing and tries to get her to help him track down a serial killer by the name of Longlegs, who has been at large for years. He also leaves coded messages that no one's been able to decipher, a bit like the Zodiac. Now, I'm not going to say any more story-wise. I'll leave it there, but you've probably noticed on the cover it says Nicolas Cage, and let me tell you, Nick Cage is in full throttle. He is as creepy as it gets. There's also Alicia Witt as Lee's mother, Ruth, who is very religious, a little bit unstable as well, and there's Kin and Shipka as the only person who has ever survived an encounter with long legs. Her character is permanently residing in a mental health institution, and it's clear to see why. This was a very good film. Music's provided on this by the director's brother, Elvis Perkins, a.k.a. Zilgi. It's got a runtime of 1 hour 41 minutes. It zips by. Let's take a look inside.
So inside we have a plain red disc. So that was long legs. So that was it. Have you seen any of those? Plan to pick them up or just want to leave a comment? Then do so down below. I will read every single one and try to reply if I have the time. Give the video a thumbs up. Really does help the channel. And subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.